Okay, so a couple months back, I made a video where I showed everybody how to make a repeating pattern in Medibang. But here's the thing. It doesn't really work if you're not using the desktop version of the program. And, well, that kind of sucks. So I decided that I was going to change that. So today, I'm remaking this tutorial for mobile users in mind, okay? So before we do that, though, we're just going to go over the basics of making a repeating pattern. And we're going to do that in do and don't fashion. Do! Make sure your little buddy here is a square. Make sure your file size is a square here, okay, buddies? Hey, guys. <laughs> make sure it's a square. It's not going to work if it's not a square. Don't not make it a square. It's just not going to work. I don't know what to tell you. It's just not. Don't do it. Do. Maybe your corners. Especially for this tutorial. In the, in the desktop version, it, it didn't really matter as much. It was useful. Didn't matter. This, it very much so matters. So label your corners. It's going to be really useful. Don't not do that. Don't not label your corners. Label them, okay? Make, it makes it easier. It makes it easier. Do keep your little buddies inside the square. You can go as close to the edge as possible, as long as it's not touching, okay? No touchy touchy. None of this. None of this. No, no touching. No, you're gonna mess up your thing, okay? So make sure you keep it inside the square. Keep your poop in a group. My apologies, my dogs are moving. Forgive me. Now on to the tutorial. So hopefully now you have a drawing that you want to make into a repeating pattern. Mine is just liner, but if you're coloring it, you're going to want to make sure you do before you start all of this stuff. Making sure you labeled your corners because we're going to be focusing on getting our four sides. And you do that by dividing the size of your canvas by two. Mine is 1,500, so it'll be 750. Making sure you set your position to whatever corner you're going for. Top left, bottom right. You get the point. Each time making sure you save everything. Make sure it's a new save. Click undo and it'll keep your save, but it'll revert it to its original size so you can repeat the process with another corner. Once you've saved all your sides, you're going to save it again, but this time to your device. Making sure you save it as a transparent file, okay? Once you've done all that, open a file. I'm starting with one. Open your canvas size and revert the size to the one of your original file. And for one, we're moving it to the bottom right. Really what we're doing here is we're swapping each of the corners to the opposite sides. So now that you've got your little buddy in the right spot, we're going to add the next side. And you do that by adding a new layer and clicking select image to add and pick a new corner. You'll be given the option to adjust the file. Don't move anything. Just press OK. Making sure that you have your move tool selected. You can zoom in and move that little buddy into the correct corner, making sure it's flush on both ends. Now that you've done that, you can merge that little sucker down and you can add the next corner and the next. And, well, nothing really changes, so just make sure you line everything up. You know you've done everything correctly when there's a cross going down in the center and, you, and if you labeled your corners on the edge, they should be in the center. If you labeled your corners in the center, they should be on the edge. Simple. When, once we're at this point, we're at the final part. We just test it to make sure it's all good, okay? We do this by opening the materials tab and selecting add from canvas. If it's a big file size, it's all good. Just press OK. You should see the completed little dude in the tab. Make a new layer and hide the old one and bam you've done it. Give it a quick little look around and make sure you've done everything and it's all matched up correctly and well you've done it. Now all you have to do is draw in the gap there. Hopefully this all makes sense and if there's any more questions feel free to ask. Thanks for watching.